Hey guys, thanks for joining me in another video. Now, first things first, it is an incredibly windy day and I've actually got the camera set up with my new tripod on a tree branch. Cue the B-roll. So I do apologize for any wind noise, we'll see how it goes and the camera might sway a little bit, but I thought I'd test it all out today. Now, since it's coming up to the end of the year, I thought I'd do my five favorite bits of gear for the year, plus my three kind of, I don't know if regret is the right word, but uh, my least favorite bits of gear for the year. So I've got most of them in my pack here. Let's get started. My favorite bit of gear I'm actually using right now on this trip, and that is the Ultras. These are the Superior 4.5s. My third pair of Ultras, uh, I absolutely love how grippy they are, how light they are, the wide toe box, how quickly they dry. Uh, they're just a great shoe for me, so they really, really easily make the favorite bit of gear of the year this year. My second favorite bit of gear of the year is actually the MLD Burn, my absolute favorite backpack. Originally, I brought this pack as a ultralight, frameless kind of hiking pack. But this year I've just been using it for so many more things including chucking all my rock climbing gear in, just a casual backpack for going out. Um, it's just a fantastic pack. I love the quality. I love you know, how tough it is. Uh, I love all the pockets, the modularity so you can take off the uh, hip belt pockets, you can take off uh, the shoulder strap water bottle carrier. Uh, I love this uh, front stretchy mesh. I've got a whole review on this thing. I'll link the, uh, I'll, po I'll put the uh, video up there, the card or whatever it's called, and a link down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, definitely my one of my favorite bits of gear for this year. Number three is my NU25 headlamp. A great bit of kit, really lightweight. It's rechargeable, it's simple, great amount of lumens. Uh, you can really easily do the uh, head strap conversion kit to make it even lighter because the strap it comes with is pretty big. But overall, an excellent headlamp. I absolutely loved using it this year, and I've gone through a fair few headlamps over the years, but this one um, I'm definitely sticking with. If you're interested in the full review, again, I've done that. I'll put the card or whatever it's called up there and a link down below, so check that out. Number four is actually on my phone, and that is the Pocket Earth app. It's by far the best trail map I have found, not only uh, can you pre-download the maps for all of Australia, all of the world? I actually used it when we were over in New Zealand uh, a few years ago and it continuously surprises me with the details it has. It has trails on there that some of the actual you know, paper maps don't. Um, it's got a lot of detail in terms of water so sources, toilets, lookout points, things like that. And it's really, really simple. It's easy to use. It's, there's no fluff to it, which I really appreciate and I really love. It's just nice, minimalist, simple, accurate. Um, for me, it's the perfect kind of GPS, nav, map stuff in the phone. So that definitely makes my list for this year. And wrapping up the top five favorites is the GoPro. Now this is the Hero 9. I started off the year with the Hero 8. I was fortunate enough to be able to upgrade uh, to the 9 for basically no extra cost but these things have come such a long way my last uh, GoPro was like a Hero 3 Plus Black or something like that so going from that to the 8 massive difference and with the 9 the addition of the front screen has been awesome slightly bigger battery etc etc uh, all really really good but it just the video quality really impresses me and it's allowed me to you know go lighter and still be able to video. I use the GoPro, the Hero 8 for my wild dog video and it's just so quick. You can set this thing up on an instant kind of video. So you literally take it out and you press the record button. It switches on, starts recording straight away. Just makes it so, so simple. So you can really concentrate and enjoy the hike and you know not have to fluff around with all the camera settings. Plus, of course, my uh, canyoning camera. These things are pretty tough, so it allows me to video in places where I wouldn't normally with a kind of standard camera. So the GoPro, this is again the Hero 9, definitely makes the list for my top favorite and probably my most favorite bit of gear for this year. So moving on to the three bits of gear which didn't really work out for me this year and I probably won't be using them going forward. Number one is the Joby Gorilla tripod. I'm trying out a new tripod, as you saw beforehand, it's the Ultrapod. It's a lot lighter, uh, it's a lot simpler, and it just fits in my pocket much easier. So this thing I always kind of struggle to attach to my pack, 
It was a little bit too fiddly and um, it's reasonably heavy in comparison, especially to the Ultrapod. So for me, it wasn't really the perfect solution. I'm hoping the Ultrapod's gonna be a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely a bit of gear which didn't really work out for me this year. Number two, and getting back to more camping focused gear, and that is the B3 water filter. Now, for me, two main reasons why I didn't really like this filter. Uh, number one, the water flow is good at the start, but I did find it slowing down reasonably quickly. And although I was able to restore it, it was a lot more effort, and that effort became needed a lot more often as I used it. So I found that the Sawyer for me just worked and kept the flow a lot better. And also with this thing, the modularity. The great thing about the Sawyer is that you can screw it onto pretty much your standard water bottle. Whereas this thing has that kind of more unique connection. And although I did buy um, additional bags for it, it's it's just more of a pain. It's not as easy for me as the Bee Free Sawyer. So probably for 2021, I'll be going back to a Sawyer squeeze for those reasons. It's just better flow rate. And for me, you know, using it, it's just a lot easier, a lot more modular and easier to refill my water. And the third item is actually the little silver compass, which I reviewed not too long ago. This thing is a cool little bit of kit. You've got your thermometer and it's got a great little compass in there, but I just didn't really use it that much. And when I did have it connected, I had it connected to the outside of my bag and it would be kind of, bouncing around the outside of my bag, making a noise, getting annoying, and I actually ended up taking it off. Putting it on another bag, uh, my work bag, just to have it there for the sake of having it there. Uh, but eventually also the clip broke off, which was a bit of a pain. So cool bit of gear. I'll keep like, I'll have it hanging around somewhere just for the sake of having it. But it's definitely no longer going to be in my kit bag for hiking, camping, or anything outdoors. So, guys, that about wraps it up. I'm going to get out of this wind, and I can see a fair few rain clouds making their way up this way too. But before I go, I would be really interested to know what bits of gear worked for you this year. What were your favorites, and also what didn't? Leave them down in the comments. I'll be really keen to check them out. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.